Welcome to GTI Predictive Technology. My name is Tom Honig. Uh, we are here today to unveil a brand new product line that we are calling Viprotect. Uh, many of you have known our legacy product line that's about 10 years old now called Vipro has been used for collecting data manually through uh, a plant of all different assets from fans, motors, pumps, spindles, and all that. Um, our Vipro 24-7 is our permanent mount solution that's been out for just a little over a year now. But uh, for 2020, we have Viprotect, which um, before I get into the software, I'd like to show you the hardware because it's really, really exceptional. Uh, one, we have a very, very tiny accelerometer for mounting to a spindle or any other asset. And believe it or not, this is three axes and temperature out of this little module. And it is wireless. It goes to a wireless uh, transmitter power cell uh, that just requires 12 or 24 volts from the machine. And this doesn't have to be wired into the machine because it will then wirelessly transmit to this rack mounted module here, uh, which also has an antenna, which is also USB compliant. So uh, our Surface tablet here is comes with the package and it is all plugged right into USB and you have a package ready to go. Now here with the software, uh, I want to demonstrate, it has several different analysis modes and right now we're in what's called fault detection. And as you can see, I have a couple slide modules here where I can adjust my limits just by slip, uh, simply slipping these up and down uh, as I please, um, up, down, and it has a lower threshold as well. So let's turn this motor on and actually get something running here. So, so now that our motor's running, you can see that uh, we're banded around uh, the slight imbalance of this motor. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that motor off. I'm gonna slow it down a little quickly here. And I'm just gonna put a small screw right here, and you can see this isn't much weight that we're, we're putting in there. Now this is gonna simulate uh, us possibly putting an unbalanced tool in, in, and it's only slightly unbalanced as you can see, but we've crossed our threshold. So at every event it crosses that threshold, five seconds before and five seconds after is what we're going to uh, get at, on the web app, which is going to show our one times peak. So we're going to know exactly what happened. Now, if this was a crash or too aggressive of a cut or something else that caused that alarm uh, back in the fault detection, we would see that and we would be able to identify that. Now, the other, and this is what I really like with this software, is our frequency analysis is a little bit different. As you can see, I've banded over this running speed of the spindle and it's alerting out because I've banded over it. Now let's shut that motor off and take that screw out. And you're going to see very quickly as I remove this small screw, that's going to fall right in a play where I've banded off these frequencies, which is our running speed frequencies. This is our bearing frequency area. You can see there's a few little peaks there, but if those bearings were to degrade and pass that threshold here, I would know I have a bad bearing scenario coming up. And that data five seconds before and five seconds after would be also go up to the web app. Now you can see I've got my one times running speed is now falling within the threshold that I've banded around. So I can band around any type of frequencies that are happening during the machining process, during the grinding process, or just gr while any asset is running so that if a imbalance crosses in this threshold, I will get an alert and the data will go up to the web app. If my bearings do or some sort of uh, over aggressive cut or any other high frequencies in the bands that I've created, that will go up to the web app. And now the final feature here is called bearing. And with bearing, what I simply can do here is once a day, as you can see, it's running right there. Uh, it's going to take a 30 second test of the condition and health of this asset. And as you can see, I fell into green on both. You know, we have a little bit of an imbalance, but it's still within specifications. And of course, the bearings aren't hurt at all. So those are in green as well, and we get a good report. Now this will go up to the web app every time we hit the button, and it will start trending the health of this 
spindle or asset. And uh, also, nice feature here, I can save a report, I can um, uh, print out a report, I can look at this data, there are many other things that I can do with the data. But this is uh, the most important part of this whole thing is this is a constant monitoring system that is running in real time and protecting our asset, whether it crashes, somebody puts an unbalanced tool in, or any of these conditions, you will get an immediate alert both at the asset point on the monitor, but also on the web app, and it will also text or email you uh, that it has crossed alert. So, if you uh, would like any more information on this product, please reach out to us at www.gtipredictive.com or reach out to us at our direct number at 603-669-5993. Thank you for your attention and please reach out to us with any questions. Thank you.